Oh, ladies and gentlemen, is Batwoman over? What we're going to be talking about today is that Batwoman, starring Ruby Rose, has she has actually quit the series, which is actually very, very interesting to see. Mostly because, well, I'll read what she said during her actual... Uh, her announcement of her leaving the show, but I think she's left the show because she knows how much it was going down. It wasn't going to survive season two, and even though it was actually, for some unknown reason, redone for season two, it was like, yeah, we'll have, we'll have another series. I really don't understand why. We're going to be reading Bounding in the comics because it's got some great information on it towards the end of the article, but this is what we got. Ruby Rose exits the CW's Batwoman. Batwoman actress Ruby Rose has officially exited the CW show. Rose stated, I have made the very difficult decision to not return to Batwoman next season. She added, This was not a decision I made lightly, as I have the utmost respect for the cast, crew and everyone involved with the show in both Vancouver and in Los Angeles. Her statement continued, I am beyond appreciative to Greg, Sarah and Caroline, the people who were, you know, the executive producer and the showrunners, for giving me this incredible opportunity, but for welcoming me into the DC universe they have so beautifully created. She added, Thank you Peter Roth and Mark and the teams at Warner Brothers and the CW who put so much into the show and always believed in me. Thank you to everyone who made season one a success. I am truly grateful. That part there, it's a net of success. Sadly, she actually has to say that because, well, we all know it wasn't a success. While Rose will not be returning, Belandi Productions, The CW, and Warner Bros. Television released a statement noting that they will recast the role of Batwoman. They specifically note that they will be looking for a member of the LGBTQ community to take on the role. The statement reads... Warner Brothers Television, The CW and Belanti Productions thank Ruby for her contributions to the success of our first season and wish her all the best. The studio and network are firmly committed to Batwoman's second season and long-term future, which I don't think it will have a long-term future. And we, along with the show's talented creative team, they're not creative, they've literally just taken the Batman story and changed it. Look forward to sharing its new direction, including the casting of a new lead actress and member of the LGBTQ community in the coming months. Rose did face backlash following her initial casting. It would lead her to quit Twitter, however, she remained active on Instagram. Her exit comes with the show experienced flagging ratings for the network in its first season. The show premiered with 1.8 million people tuning in and a 0.47 rating in the 18 to 45, sorry, 49 demographic. It would fall to a season low of 634,000 viewers whew, in its 17th episode, according to TV series finale. Its lowest rating came with episode 11 at 0.15. Oof. The show would marginally recover by its season finale. It finished with 739,000 viewers and a 0.20 rating. Despite the declining ratings towards the end of the season, the show still ranks as the fourth best show for the CW. It has an average rating of 0.26 with average viewership of 995,000 viewers. Deadline believes that Rose is not exiting due to an onset injury that nearly left her paralysed. No specifics on why she is leaving the show were revealed, and it was renewed for a second season in early January. So for me, I personally can see why she left because, well, it was going down the drain. The entire season, it just started off and it was just a sinking ship on, on the way. Saying that it averaged between 700 and 900,000 viewers when the actual premiere was close to 2 million, that's a big loss. That is a huge, huge loss. And especially for a show that's just starting out. However, personally, my own opinion... If this was a male actor or a male show, it'd be gone. Say Green Arrow started on this. You know, say The Flash started like that and it went down as low as that. It wouldn't be around. But again, no, we'll just have to wait and see who they cast because, to be honest with you, 
I actually liked Ruby Rose in, as Batwoman because I did watch the first episode and that's all I watched, which, don't get me wrong, she was good in it, but I think she was the only thing that was good in the actual uh, episode I saw. But I just kept up to date with what was going on and I was just like, wow, this is really going downhill. How can you think this is a good thing to have? Because it's not. To be honest with you, it was actually terribly written. And for a show like this, they had so many great stories. They could have just literally just taken off the page and put the screen. And it would have been amazing. But no, though, we see that people have certain agendas. They want to put through their own perspective. And they want to put their own political views and stuff into series. Which, to be honest with you, I don't care if you vote for the person who... Uh, who they you know, support or whatever. When you put your own political things into a show which is not about that. It does take it away and it kind of ruins it. Especially when it's meant to be like a fantasy world. Again like, like Gotham, Metropolis, all these places are. You know, it's just not good. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.